Now we're going to see the term presentation. So presentation is going to be the, the closest zone or part of the baby to the birth canal. To the birth canal. So the part or zone of the baby that is um, in most proximity to the birth canal, that is what we're going to call presentation. So we have um, different kinds of presentation, but to have a better understanding of the different types of presentation, we need to combine presentation with orientation, what is what um, we reviewed in the previous video. So remember we said we can have we can have a longitudinal, longitudinal orientation. We can have a transverse orientation. Transverse orientation. Or we can have an oblique orientation which will convert into either a transverse orientation or a longitudinal orientation. So basically, we have longitudinal orientation and transverse orientation. Transverse orientation. So remember, longitudinal orientation is when the longitudinal axis of the model, this is the abdomen of the model, when the longitudinal axis of the model is parallel to the longitudinal axis of the fetus. And the transverse is when the longitudinal axis of the model is perpendicular to the longitudinal axis of the fetus. So the longitudinal axis of the model is perpendicular to the longitudinal axis of the fetus. So, um, Talking about longitudinal, uh, longitudinal orientation, we can have two kinds of presentation, which is cephalic presentation or bridge presentation. So um, this means this is longitudinal, but longitudinal could be the fetus being like this. This is longitudinal, but this is also longitudinal. So we can have a presentation. We can have a longitudinal orientation with cephalic presentation or longitudinal orientation with bridge presentation. So in the cephalic presentation, the head um, is is closest to the birth canal. Um, it's not exactly the head, it's a specific part of the head, which we are going to see in the next video. But here I want to make the distinction between cephalic and bridge. So cephalic is here, the head is close to the birth canal. Bridge is here, the, the legs, the perineum is close to the birth canal. So being this cephalic presentation, so here the, the head which we are going to um, determine specifically which part of the head is in the next video. But here the head is the closest to the birth canal, as opposed to bridge presentation, where the, here the legs, the perineum, this part of the, of the baby is closest to the birth canal. And Bridge presentation, we can have what is called a complete bridge presentation. A frank, let me write, write first the frank. Frank presentation, complete bridge presentation, and incomplete 
Bridge presentation. So, um, the different uh, types of cephalic presentation, we are going to review them in the next video because there are uh, many of these more confusing. But, Bridge presentation, this is straightforward. We have Frank presentation, which is um, having the hip flex with legs extended. So, um, how to draw this? Um, this is the fetus, this is bridge presentation, the hips are flexed. So, uh, here is the hip, so hip is flexed, hip is flexed, and legs are extended. So, this would be a frank presentation, hip flex, leg extended. Let me see if I can draw that. Um, I don't even know how to, to draw this. Um, let's say this is the thorax, this is the head, here are the arms of the baby. So the leg. The hips are flexed and the legs are extended. Something like this. Hip flex and leg extended. Then we have complete, which is hip flex plus leg flex. And we can have uni or B flexion of this but so this is hip flex again but leg is flex so this would be like this hip flex and leg flex so hip flex and leg flex The, let's say this is the um, the leg. The flex leg can be here or can be here. I mean, the flex leg can cross between them or can be like this. So um, here in the um, frank, we have hip flex and leg extended. So the foot are like close to the head as opposed to the complete bridge which is flex hips and flex legs so here legs are more apart to the head than the bridge um frank bridge presentation and the other one is the incomplete which is also called foot link here um we have extension we can have extension of the hip but the important thing is that the presenting part is the foot. So this is like hip like an extended hip and so here is the, the foot. We can have one or both So, uh, longitudinal orientation, we can have cephalic presentation, cephalic presentation, or we can have bridge presentation, which could be frank or complete bridge or incomplete bridge, foot link. And the transverse uh, orientation, here um, we can have the shoulder shoulder presentation. So here, uh, remember this is the longitudinal axis of the mother, this is the longitudinal axis of the fetus, and what is presenting through the birth canal is the shoulder. 
the shoulder of the the shoulder of the baby the shoulder and um, important considerations here is that if the baby is um, back down so in this position not this 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 is an indication for cesarean delivery so if we have back uh, down this is an indication for c-section um, race factors for having a transverse orientation is multiple gestation, multiple gestation, placenta trivia, and trauma. Okay. And other um, presentation we can have is what is called um, compound presentation. Compound presentation, which is when we have um, several parts of the baby presenting at the same time. Um, this is we both, for example, I don't know, we can have maybe like a cephalic presentation, but also a foot coming down. I don't know, when we have like several parts of the baby um, going um, close to the birth canal. This is a compound presentation. This is not in the category of longitudinal or transverse orientation. This is a part. And the other one is what is called a funic presentation. Funic presentation. Here, what is going to be closest to the birth canal is going to be the umbilical cord. So I don't know if for some reason the umbilical cord is closest to the birth canal, that is called a phonic presentation, which obviously that's dangerous. So in summary, um, presentations, we have cephalic, we have bridge, shoulder, compound, or phonic presentation. But just calling this way cephalic, bridge, shoulder, compound, or phonic presentation is a mess. So it's easier to uh, visualize it with orientation. If we have longitudinal orientation, we can have cephalic or bridge presentation. Bridge presentation um, can be frank, which is hip flex and leg extended, complete, which is hip flex and leg flexed, or incomplete or footly, which is extension of the hip. Um, the cephalic presentation is heads down. We are going to discuss this later. And transverse uh, orientation, we can have the shoulder presentation. Other presentation we can have is the compound presentation when uh, several parts of the body are presenting to the birth canal and phoenix presentation where is the umbilical cord that is presenting through the birth canal.